In this video, we're going to look at how we can take computer audio, whether that's YouTube or Groove or VLC, and record that audio into Pro Tools by way of Voice Meter Banana. Now, some audio interfaces have loopback built in, like the Personas Studio 1824C, which is usually what I use. But if yours doesn't, have no fear, Voice Meter Banana is here. So first, head over here to this site here, which of course will be in the description below and come down here and download it. You can use it for free. Of course, always a good idea to donate. Hey, look at that. They even have one of my videos uh, spotlighted right there. So go ahead and download and install that. Let's minimize this stuff here. After you install it, go ahead and open it up. So just type in voice meter banana, open it up, get this right here. The first thing we need to do is set our sound source for Windows. So head down here, left click your speaker icon, expand this and select voice meter input. Okay, do not select the aux input. We're going to use that for something else. So voice meter input right there. All right, now once that is set, let's head up here and look at this A1, A2, A3, these hardware outputs. So down here you can see A1, A2, A3. Those correspond with our hardware outputs right here. So for A1, it's suggested that you select a, you know, an ASIO audio source. You don't have to, you could choose something like your speakers, a WDM source, but it's a good idea to choose an ASIO source as long as you have an audio interface. So for our first output there, we have our complete audio six, as you can see here. Now for A2, guess what? I can have multiple output sources. Okay, so the second source is my speakers. You don't have to set this up. In fact, you could leave it on uh, nothing there if you want. But just as an example, I'll show you here real quick. So now we need to make sure that we're getting the audio from, in this case, a YouTube video. But it could be, of course, again, a video playing in VLC or something. Playback the video on YouTube. You can see the input right here. Let me take this off for now. So on A1, as long as A1 is selected, then I could have my headphones or speakers plugged into my Complete Audio 6. And that's where I would hear the sound from. If I also send this to A2, then I'm going to hear that through, in this case, my computer speakers. Okay, so this is what this means here. Where are we monitoring it? Okay, if I'm not monitoring at all, I'm not going to hear the output uh, at all. All right, so now that we have that set, and we can hear our audio, in this case, through our complete audio six, let's head into our DAW. Again, we're going to use Pro Tools, could be any, uh, any ASIO DAW. So for Pro Tools, we come to Playback Engine. So come up here and I already have this set, but select the voice meter aux virtual ASIO. You could technically select some of these other ones, but you might get some feedback. It's just easier to use the aux. So go ahead and set that up. Now you might need to default your IO, depends on your DAW. All right. So now in order to get our YouTube video sound or whatever it happens to be into Pro Tools, what we need to do is send our input here. Okay. Remember that video in this case is coming in right here we need to send this source to our aux input right because we use the aux input for our uh, playback engine for pro tools so what you do is you just select b2 that's it now if i select b1 and i play back this video you'll see here not getting any input here of course but we're getting the B1 right here. We don't want B1, we want B2, okay? Now we're not seeing anything over here yet. So come in here to Pro Tools, and let me go ahead and stop this video for now. Come back into Pro Tools. Let's monitor in Pro Tools. Look up here now, we have B2 turned on. Play back the video. From the and the fountain, as you from can the see, cliff of the right here, we're getting this track here sent out of B2. Of course, we're getting that in Pro Tools the there, in and it's coming sky, through here. And of course, you can see it down here under B2. The so there you go. So now all you have to do, of course, is record, enable your track, and record the audio, in this case, from a YouTube video. Okay, and just stop whenever you have the uh, section that you want. That's all there is to it. Make sure your inputs are, of course, set correctly and you can record that audio. Now, lastly, uh, whenever you're trying to monitor what you're recording, make sure you're not also sending your aux track to A1 as well, because then you're going to get a sort of a doubling, a weird sort of doubling effect, because you're essentially taking the input from here and here and you're sending them both out 
of A1. So you're going to get like a weird, a weird sound. So in general, you want it to look about like this here. Okay, if you wanted to monitor through, you know, Pro Tools or your DW, then what you could do is set it to something like that. Okay, so then you'd have, let me play that back again. Then you'd have that input here, going to B2 right here, and you'd hear it in this case, through your complete audio six, or of course, in our case, the uh, computer speakers there as well. All right, so that's all there is to it. In general, you want it set up about like this here. A1, so you can hear it through your A1 source, B2 to get it into Pro Tools, and of course, record it. All right, so that's how you can record computer audio into Pro Tools or any ASIO DAW by using Voice Meter Banana.